Yes, we have the foundation. But we have something even more important in this room. We have the goodwill. The goodwill and the, the desire to move forward. I know this. I know this because in preparing for the conference, I have traveled around the world with my team, especially Canada's ambassador, ambassador for climate change, Jacques Biledo, whom many of you know well now. I have been impressed with what we've heard and seen on every continent, countries on their own are taking decisive action to mitigate the adverse effects of climate change. We need to learn from each other and to improve our capacity to act in our own countries and at the global level. If we accomplish this, yes, Montreal 2005 will be a success. You have prepared well for this conference, all of you, I know that. I want to recognize especially the parties who helped organize international events, ministerial level meetings and conferences, and roundtables with international experts to examine different aspects of the climate change challenge. I have followed those exchanges with keen interest and have had dialogues with parties from every region of the world. Based on my travels and meetings with you, it appears to me that our work here at the conference might be focused on three objectives. As I indicated in my letter to all of you, all the countries I have written, we have named these three objectives the three I's, implement improve, innovate. En français, c'est pas I, c'est A. Les trois A. Application, amélioration, avenir. So, the three I's in English, les trois A en français, I count, I count on you to tell me which letter in your language we should use. But it's the same meaning in every language of the world. So in English, it will be I, the three I's. The first I is for implement. Implement what? The Kyoto Protocol. The formal adoption of the Marrakesh Accords and other decisions is essential to bring the Kyoto Protocol to life, to get it up and running and make it an effective operating instrument. The second I is for improve. Improve what? The operation of the Convention and of the Kyoto Protocol. This, this includes strengthening the Clean Development Mechanism, the CDM, and making progress on key areas such as adaptation and technology. The CDM, I wonder if there is one country that did not speak to me about the CDM. It is a truly innovative instrument of the Kyoto Protocol. Through it, developed countries can meet their Kyoto commitments while helping developing countries meet their sustainable development goals. But like all new instruments, it can and it must be improved. On adaptation, what can I say except this? Just turn on the news to see how countries are experiencing the impacts of climate change, including Canada as an Arctic country. We all need to do more and help others, others to adapt to these new inevitable impacts which are already upon us. This is why we need to push ahead with the five-year program of work, a legacy of Buenos Aires. Regarding technology, we have to speed up the transfer of the very best existing technologies as well as the development of the new ones that will lead us to the technological revolution that we need. And this brings us to the third I, innovate. 
Innovate for what? Innovate for the future. Bearing in mind our ultimate common objective of st stabilizing greenhouse gas concentrations at a level that prevents dangerous anthropogenic interference with the climate system, we need to consider the future in two contexts. First, as required under Kyoto Article 3.9, we have to begin consideration of commitments in the second period. Furthermore, I am hearing that we also need to explore options for future cooperation in a manner that reflects the full range of interest of the Convention parties. In concluding, I will make this commitment to you. I will listen carefully, attentively, and actively to what you all say here. Let us all capitalize on the goodwill present in this room. Let us capitalize on the actions we have taken so far, on the successes we have achieved. Let us be driven by the responsibilities we have in field, responsibilities to our respective countries, to humanity, to our one and only planet. Let us seek consensus for outcomes that move us all towards substantial solutions. Let us set our sights on an effective, more inclusive, long-term, international approach to climate change. Merci beaucoup. Thank you so much.